this be a new wood, you'd certainly want to protect as much of that as you can. What you got over there, Ron? Got some of Boy, this is some groceries, I'm telling you about. That's good. Thank you, sir. We tried. Make my life worthwhile. Deep fry this little bird today. George, you got a nice big one. Where'd you catch that? It's time for Down Home in the Tri-States with your host, Ron Jones. If it's farming, gardening, information, or just plain interesting, you can catch it all right here on Down Home in the Tri-States. Glad you could be with us on Down Home in the Tri-States. I'm Ron Jones, and we're here on this station every Saturday, so we certainly do appreciate you watching this program, folks, and doing business with our supporters. That's our sponsors. They, they're the ones that pay for this show, and they're the ones that keep it on the air. So uh, if you like the show, you enjoy it, by all means, please do business with them when you can, and we certainly would appreciate it, and tell them where you saw their advertisement. Uh, speaking of advertisers, uh, uh, Paul Davis, D Davidson called me from Main Street Market, Said after we ran that peanut show last week, he said, man, they flocked in there. And said they had, had two of them come up from Panama City up to Chipley to get those things. And uh, uh, he said, uh, had two or three other people come in from different places too. But he, uh, he said that uh, he was just uh, excited. He said that they got plenty more left. They need to sell some more. They got fresh, good, fresh peanuts. And they, they're fresh local peanuts, folks. Good quality peanuts, as you saw. And we're going to show you the rest of the little clip we did uh we, we did it uh, we had to wait till they got done before we could eat them but we finally uh finally was able to do that and we got a little clip on that so uh let's see one of my speaking of sponsors again we got a brand new sponsor on this program a brand new supporter and that is uh easy care lawn tractor tree removal folks they can do it all and uh, after meeting with these folks we did them a commercial and uh they could you'll see it today run these folks they, they got it going they know what's going on okay you need you need any kind of expert tree lawn service whatever i recommend you call these folks because like i said i spent some time with them and they know what they're doing okay they know what they're doing so y'all give them a call you get your pencils out and write the numbers down put them on your refrigerator so you'll have them okay and, oh yeah by the way on the peanuts we're going to be giving away a bag of those paul said he wants to to give y'all a bag of peanuts somebody some lucky person so uh, that's them the money big old bags like we got up here you know so y'all be sure and get your names and we're gonna have we're gonna try to do that drawing in a couple of weeks okay and uh, we got lot, lots of other things on there so y'all watch this we got something a little different on the show today I, i've been hearing stuff about this uh, epa and, and the water it's on your property and everything and how uh the epa is uh getting get, gaining control more and more control of the property that you, that you own the water you own and uh, it kind of scares me, so I, somebody put me in touch with somebody, and we're going we're gonna to have that on today. Like I say, it's a little different twist, but uh, I just felt like it was something y'all needed to hear. After, you know, after I heard it, I felt like y'all needed to hear it. So y'all get your pencils, because you might want to write some of these addresses down. Watch this. We'll be back in just a minute. Down home in the Tri-States. And they, they should be okay. Everything was, everything was uh, done to, to the menu, I mean to the uh, recipe, and there I'm not going to try another one. Mm -hmm. That's pretty darn good. Now I'm gonna get I'm gonna get one off of the bottom down there. See if it's any saltier, okay? So I'm gonna get one of these down here in the bottom where there's still a little more juice, and I'm gonna pull that up here. Pull these up here just so I can make sure I get one okay. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this spoon down for a minute. I'm gonna grab me a couple just in here. They're kind of warm, this, you know. Let's check this one out here. Yeah. So yeah, that's about what you want right there. Now let's see. Pretty good. I gotta. I'm gonna let Eric try one. Hold your hand out, Eric. Try them things. Don't let them burn your mouth now. What do you think? Those are delicious. Delicious peanuts. 
And that's the way you do it, folks. Uh, that's the way I do it anyway. So now you know. All you got to do now is go get you some at Main Street Market. Uh, Y'all can give them a call down there. And before you go, make sure they got them. They sell out of them when they get them, but they got more coming in. And it's peanut season now, so just to give old Paul them a call down there. Ask them they got some peanuts that Ron was talking about on down home in the Tri-States, okay? Tell them that now. They'll know what you mean, okay? It used to be people needing tree service like removal and pruning had to accept what they could get. That is until now. Meet Easy Care Tree and Lawn Experts. Easy Care is now the tree and lawn service of choice in this area. They know what can be done and what can't be done and what needs to be done. We start out with the tree removal process. We then move on to the cleanup, the haul off, and the sweep up the process. And if the customer needs it, we also offer the stump grinding. With Easy Care, you'll get an honest appraisal and an honest job. I'm Dal Morris, and we go to any length to please our customers. At Easy Care, our main goal is to keep the homeowner happy. With Easy Care, you can feel safe. We're fully licensed and insured. And with Easy Care's large and experienced, hardworking crew, they will be there to take care of your request. At Easy Care, we believe to do the right job, you have to have the right tools. Trust the experts. Call them today. Regardless of whether you have a one-day job, a two-day job, or a month job, no job is too big or too small for Easy Care Lawn and Tractor. Beautiful! Where are the places you're most likely to encounter a tough, rugged, aggressive, yet gentle rhino? Up and down the rivers and lakes, everywhere that I go, people are doing double takes. Checking out my rhino, no doubt about it, it's the very best, even my mother-in-law is impressed. Now you know what I know, make your boat a rhino. Uh-oh, my well pump quit working. What? You mean I gotta wait a week for parts? I can't go a week without water, folks. How many times have you heard that? Don't put yourself through misery when your well pump stops working. Call the Man Water Dan. Dan can get you up and going the day you call him. Unlike most well pump repairmen, Water Dan stocks and carries on his pump truck the parts you need to repair your pump. It may just be a simple adjustment. It doesn't matter whether it's a home, school, farm irrigation pump, business, livestock, pool. Water Dan can give you an honest opinion and do you an honest job. I use Water Dan anytime I have a problem because I know I can trust Water Dan, and I will have water today. Put this number on your fridge and call the man Water Dan. 850-535-9308. 535-9308. Call the man Water Dan. Water Dan is the customer's man. If you need metal roofing cut to fit but don't have time to wait four or five days or a week, you need to come to Surplus and Salvage of Chipley. It's as simple as bringing your truck or trailer to Surplus and Salvage of Chipley. Just tell them how much and how long and they'll make it happen. Metal roofing is made on the spot, on the site. They can even make ridge cap, drip edge, flashing. Whatever you need, they'll make it. Get the lowest prices. Galvaluma $1.30 a foot. Hidden colors available at a low $1.89 a foot. Folks, you won't find this low price anywhere in the Panhandle on metal roofing. Are you worried about your motorhomes and tractors and equipment and campers sitting out in the rain, hot sun, and freezing cold just running? Need some cover? Surplus and Salvage has pole barn kits for anybody's budget. Surplus and Salvage of Chipley has the lowest prices on pole barn kits in the Panhandle. In stock kits from 24 by 24 to 32 by 60. Or just tell them what size you want and they'll make it happen. Most popular 24 by 36 is a low $19.99. And that covers a lot of equipment, folks. You need it? They got it. At Surplus and Salvage of Chipley, Highway 90, west of Highway 77, 850-638-7353. Surplus and salvage of Chipley. I hear those Tyndall jets flying over. That's the sound of freedom, isn't it? It certainly is. Just, Thank I God just, for our Air Force. I just hope they can continue to fly uh, under our roofs. Uh, I've been hearing a lot about this, uh, about something that has it's got me worried. It's got me disturbed. Because uh, I don't like it, to be honest with you, and there's several things that, uh, that I've heard that I don't like. It. But this, this really concerns me. Uh, I've heard from several people, uh, people on TV, on radio, and just running into people about, about the EPA and the, uh, the water that, that's on the face of this earth, especially in the United States, 
uh, that includes wells and, and uh, lakes and ponds. And if you've got a pond on your property, uh, even a catfish pond or something like that, if you've got a lake, got two or three lakes on your property, you've got a well, two or three wells on your property, uh, I found out that, and if this is right, that you don't own no, you don't own that water. That water belongs to the EPA, and they can do with it really what they want to do with it. And uh, I, so that concerned me, and, and somebody I, I talked to said, you need to talk to Karen Sean because she can probably tell you more about that uh, and, and what's going on with that than anybody can. So uh, we caught up with her here, and uh, Karen Sean, glad to have you with us. Thank you so much, Ron. It's, it's wonderful to be with you, and it's also wonderful to have people engage so that we can understand what's going on because too much times we have misinformation and that's even worse. And Alto Carroll is with us. Y'all know Alto and uh, Alto, he got concerned about it too. So he's got a well in his yard and uh, he didn't like it just as much as I did. And, and uh, we're, we're sitting in front of this beautiful lake here that uh, apparently belongs to the EPA according to what they say. Well, what, what, what is this all about? Well, uh, several years ago, through a variety of executive orders, our federal government decided to give the EPA um, incredible authority to regulate. And through a series of programs called the Greenways, which affects our land, and the Blueways, which affects our water, the EPA has decided that you don't own that, they do and that water and water rights are no longer the rights of the individual, that they belong to the collective. Well, first you have to believe that the EPA has the authority to do that, which according to our Constitution, they do not. And just because Congress gave them power doesn't mean they have the power either. So there are multiple things going on in play here. However, the thing that will hit us the bet, the most, is the fact that the EPA, through the Clean Air Act, has decided that they should own and control all of the water on the face of the United States. So a puddle that's on your private property could now be claimed as wetlands by the EPA. You're kidding. Mm. No, I'm not. Our state was divided into five water management districts. And the EPA gives those water management districts further authority. And this is a big issue because the water management districts use the buying force provided by our tax dollars to purchase property around water. And then what they do is they create a buffer zone, so it's off limits to humans. And then they'll go around and create conservation easements making it further off limits to humans. And what we have then is a taking of private property of the individual loss, but a municipality's huge loss as land comes off the tax rolls, and then we the people wind up with our taxes being raised because I haven't met a county commissioner yet that said we lost that property, we lost that revenue, so we'll just lower our budget. And you, in my county, you probably won't find one, I know. No, no. <laughs> you won't. No. So this is where we are right now. The EPA in America, America is an anomaly because in America the individual has the right to own their land. And they also have the right to what is above their land and what is below their land. And if you discover water on your private property, that's your water, not according to the EPA. So now what's happening is water management is making any of the well drillers put meters on the wells so they can regulate our own water. No. Yes. And this is going on out west. We know it, it's, it's recorded, and it's coming here. Yeah. So that's why I'm running for office, because I want to bring this information to our citizens in our area, because we have the right to say no. Well, I've, I've never heard that, and I'm sure that most of, of our viewers have not heard that either. I, it, it shocked me. It's just, I guess it's part of government takeover, if, if, yeah. if you will. This group that is behind all of these regulations believes that private property should not be in the hands of individuals. 
that when an individual owns private property, it could create wealth. So, Ron, if you have a big house and you have a lake on your property, and I have a little house and I don't have a lake, well, I should have the right to come and take and use your lake because you might have more wealth than me, and your wealth has to be redistributed to me. Well, That's what we they got, believe. As long as we've got the Second Amendment, it's don't try to come on my property. Exactly right. right. Take anything I've got. Well, one of the things that I've been telling people is the most important thing you should do right now is put a sign on your property that says no trespassing. And if someone comes from the government because they want to inspect something, that's what they usually start out saying, what you want to do is not enter into a conversation, but say, where is your warrant? Because if they do not have a warrant, ask them to leave and come back when they have a warrant, because they have no right on your private property. And as long as we continue to exercise our rights, we will be pushing back on what the government feels that they have the right to take. Because that's what this is all about. This is about the government taking our private property and saying that it belongs to everybody, not us. Uh, I heard one person say if, that you really don't own the land, you just rent it. And when you pay your taxes, you just pay your rent. And if you don't pay your rent, they take your land. Exactly, and that's why I believe that our ad valorem taxes are very, very unfair because it puts an undue burden on our taxpayer landowner yeah. while other people who are renters aren't paying anything. They don't pay anything. And that's really unfair because now what is supporting the counties are the landowners. So when the land values go up, we have more taxes. But when the land values go down, we have less taxes. And then, again, they turn around and instead of saying, well, let's try a different way of taxation or let's look at the assets of an area and see what we can do to improve the assets so that we can bring in business, they say, no, let's tax the people who are already being taxed. Yeah. And this is the situation that we have right now. Folks, y'all y'all stay with us. We're going to take a commercial break, and we'll be back with Karen Shell and Alto in just a minute. Uh, uh, y'all watch this, and we'll, we'll be right back. Well, I come home every morning after working all night. Sit down to my keyboard, and I start to write. Now is the time to go to your Kubota dealer and get a brand new Kubota M-Series tractor during Kubota's Gear Up and Go sales event. Get a feature-loaded M-Series with powerful engine options from 46 to 135 horsepower. With Kubota, you get comfort, intuitive controls, and value. So make a great deal on a Kubota M-Series with zero down and 0% APR financing for up to 60 months during Kubota's Gear Up and Go sales event. See and save on all Kubota tractors and equipment at Soul Tractor today. From turkey hunting to deer hunting and everything in between, your best shot is King. King's Outdoors can take care of your hunting, fishing, and shooting needs year-round. We have an extensive selection of ammunition, including Remington, Federal, Winchester, and Hornady. Ladies, if you need a firearm and have no idea where to start, Perry and his friendly, helpful staff will make you feel right at home. Here at King's Outdoors, we have all major brands of handguns, shotguns, rifles, scopes, and accessories including Browning, Beretta, Savage, Remington, and Marlin. From deer rifles, shotguns, and handguns to fishing supplies for all fishermen and lady anglers, King's Outdoor stocks the best. Need prescriptions? At King's, we've been meeting your prescription needs since 1977. If you're headed to the beach, put King's on your stop and stock up before you get there. They're located right on Main Street. That's Highway 77 in Chipley, Florida, in front of the hospital. Just look for the big red canopy. Here at King's, we'll work hard to earn your business and keep your business. Y'all come see us. King's Discount Drugs and King's Outdoor.
Folks, we're back with Karen Schoen and Alto Carroll. Uh, we're talking about uh, several different things, really, but uh, mainly the, the uh, concern that uh, you don't own the water that's on your property. That, that's the bottom line. You think you do, but you don't own it. And is this part of the, uh, is that agenda, what is that agenda, or what is that? Thing? There's an agenda at the United Nations. It's called Agenda 21, and it is the agenda for the 21st century. And what happened was when people like myself read that agenda, the people that were promoting that agenda, which, by the way, is a real agenda and can be found on our um, websites for all of our uh, departments, all like the EPA, they all say they're following sustainable development. In 1992, Bill Clinton's aide, I believe he was an aide or uh, in his cabinet, his name was J. Gary Lawrence. He went to Mr. Clinton and he said, Mr. Clinton, if we tell the people this is a UN initiative, they won't like it, so let's change its name. So that's why Agenda 21 has a lot of names, and that's why people don't know what it is, because they don't know the right name. But it's also called Sustainable Development, Resilient Earth, Future Earth, Smart Growth, and a variety of central, it all means the same thing. It means centralized or controlled planning. And what has been happening is private property has been now under a variety of rezoning and land use changes, which renders your property, which could render your property useless. So what good is it if I can't put the building that I want to put on my property on my property, or I can't um, bring my farm animals to my acreage, or I can't put whatever it is that I want to do with my own property through a regulation, can I use my property? No. So what good is my property yeah. if I can't use it? And in America, property rights, which also was land, business, and your person, was to be owned by the individual. Well, what this program is laying out is that property rights, land, use, and business, and the individual should be owned and controlled by our government. Well, that's called communism. That is not yeah. called uh, American, uh, our ideology, and has nothing to do with our Constitution. That's what made America great, the fact that individual owners, individuals could own things. And once you own something, you have power. You also have the desire to protect it. And that's where the gun rights came in. Now, if you take away ownership from someone, are they going to protect the property that they rented? Probably not. Are they going to uh, go out and say, it's going to be my life, or you, you cannot take my property? No, they'll walk away. So by creating a society of renters, what is happening is our government is then coming in and they're doing a taking through a variety of mechanisms. Uh, the um, Endangered Species Act, wetlands, wildlands, and again, the greenways and the blueways are just mechanisms for the government to come in and control our private property, of which they have no right to control because it is not listed in the Constitution. It used to be people needing tree service like removal and pruning had to accept what they could get. That is until now. Meet Easy Care tree and lawn experts. Easy Care is now the tree and lawn service of choice in this area. They know what can be done and what can't be done and what needs to be done. Start out tree removal process, we then move on to the cleanup, the haul off, and the sweep up the process. And if the customer needs it, we also offer the stump grinding. With Easy Care, you'll get an honest appraisal and an honest job. I'm Dal Morris, and we go to any length to please our customers. At Easy Care, our main goal is to keep the homeowner happy. With Easy Care, you can feel safe. We're fully licensed and insured. And with Easy Care's large and experienced, hard-working crew, they will be there to take care of your request. At Easy Care, we believe to do the right job, you have to have the right tools. Trust the experts. Call them today. Regardless of whether you have a one-day job, a two-day job, or a month job, no job is too big or too small for Easy Care Lawn and Tractor. Beautiful! Well, the state has cut out uh, their funding for uh, their meals on wheels. 
And uh, the number of people that's requiring those meals on wheels is, is up. Exactly. It, it's not down. Okay, so let's take that program for a minute. We had a program called Doc Stamps. And Doc Stamps were originally sold to the people to help the elderly and help the poor and help the people stay in their homes because it's always better to keep someone in their home sure. than kick them out. Sure. So that's what this program was set up for. Over time, that money has been funneled into groups like Florida Forever, A Thousand Friends of Florida, Nature Conservancy, the Sierra Club, the Audubon Society, all of those environmental, I call them neo-environmentalists because their goal is not really the environment. Their goal is to capture land. So they're not really in tune with the environment. Um, yeah. All of these groups are taking their orders from the United Nations and they're all following this plan called Agenda 21. Now, Amendment 1 attacks the doc stamps, which is supposed to fund programs like that. Yeah. And what they're saying in this amendment is it's revenue neutral. We're not going to take any money that wouldn't be there allocated already. Well, that's incorrect. Because if I take money out of this pocket, which is supposed to go to help the poor and the elderly, right. and I put it in this pocket to give to you to go buy land, what happens to the poor and elderly? They, they don't get anything. They don't get anything. Well, then what do you think is going to happen? Our legislature is going to come back and they're going to say, okay, we don't have enough money to fund the poor and the elderly programs. We're going to have to cut them. Or we'll raise your taxes so you can support them. And then when we say, no, don't raise the taxes, their answer is going to be, what's the matter with you? Don't you like the poor and the elderly? You're mean. You don't want to help them. Yeah. Well, we did help them. But what you're doing is you're taking our money that we said we want to help them, and you're giving it to an agency whose sole purpose is to take our private property. And what they want to do is come to places like this, draw a circle around it and say, you cannot use this because it's a buffer zone. Yeah. And then they're going to move the buffer zone a little further and say, well, this will be a conservation easement. And then they'll move it a little further out until eventually the people who live around the lake will have no property at all. We're going to continue this, folks. Is this, is this too much information here that we need to, we need to know? And uh, you know, I just wonder where, uh, where's the good old government we grew up with? Where, where did it go? We, we don't uh, have it anymore. We don't have it anymore, and unfortunately that was another thing that you mm -hmm. said. The government, is, the people who are now in our government have gone through school to not learn about the Constitution and about our right. rights, and they go into our government and they are funded by the same groups that I just mentioned to go and write legislation to favor those groups.